so my name is Henry Wynn. I am a sophomore mechanical engineering major. And a little bit about myself, I'm the marketing chair for Enable. So uh, about that, my responsibilities, they include designing and distributing the posters. I like to use uh, Illustrator and Photoshop for that. So I do have some technical background for those kind of uh, programs. And another thing that I like to do is volunteer. Uh, generally, the one that uh, the one organization that I work with is called the Vietnamese Culture and Science Association. So uh, throughout this past summer, I've been working with them to, I guess, put on a scholarship luncheon, and that involves a lot of marketing with public officials, a lot of talking to, uh, I guess, doctors, lawyers, school officials, and through that, I also even got the chance to go on a Vietnamese talk show, and. I don't really have enough experience with Vietnamese vocabulary, so that was a bit nerve-wracking, and um, I guess that kind of got me out of my comfort zone. And through that, I guess I was able to determine that, hey, this is something that I want to develop. This is something that I want to get better at. And since I'm here, I thought maybe Shep's a way for me to kind of step up and also gain ways to kind of come out of my shell, be more involved with local student orgs, more people around here, and to become involved with the community. Because uh, I actually came to my first event on Tuesday, and I felt really welcome. So I'm appreciative towards everyone who introduced yourselves, and thank you. happy that you feel welcome in this organization. That's what we try to do. Um, let's see. You are currently the marketing chair at Enable. You've been in a talk show host, you know, illustrator and Photoshop. Um, it looks like media is your thing, right? Uh, it's something I dabble with. Okay, okay. So if I were to tell you, if I were to come up to you and say, hey, I want one Shep post to go viral this year, okay. what would you do? Uh, well, you know, so a lot of viral videos, I guess, would work. So uh, if it was a shut post, I would make it a video. I would make it a Twitter video and I would share that. And then, you know, there's a lot of crazy trends going on. So I would try to follow one of the trends. I guess that's, that's one of the background backbones okay. what I would do. All right, so we're a professional organization, so yes. we can't really go for a lot of these crazy okay. trends. Um, how, which trend would you pick? Tell me a little bit more about this video. Um, so definitely it would be something more along the lines of, uh, I guess like, you know, the ice bucket challenge, something that has a good rep to it, something that has a good uh, community uh, support, mm -hmm. something that can build community and just have, like, give Shep a better PR. Awesome, all right, thank you. So, hello. I'm happy that you're running. Props to you for being such a like a super super new member and, and you know being here today because I know Thank people you. that have been in shop for years and they're scared to run. So you know, props to you. Um, so I have two questions. My first question is: right now you're marketing chair for another organization, mm -hmm. and me being marketing chair for Chef for the past like two years, it's very well. It's it's not. It's time consuming. Like you have to manage definitely. your time very well. Um, it's not gonna take you the whole day every day, but you definitely have to know how to manage your time. So, with school and I don't know if you work and other things that you do outside of school, mm -hmm. plus having another marketing position, like how do you manage to, how do you, how do you plan to manage those, all the things that you're doing? So uh, definitely for at least for enable, what I do is I kind of set out a time in between my classes to work on it. So likewise, I would do that, and um, I guess I would sec section it out, so I would have a portion of time dedicated to Enable's marketing division, or marketing uh, responsibilities, and then a portion of time for Shep's marketing uh, responsibilities. And also right now, my uh, Sundays are free, so I would use that time to kind of be productive and do a bit of uh, work ahead of time, so I could make posters ahead of time, I could make that, and then kind of schedule the posts, since uh, I know that Facebook and 
a lot of uh, social media um, outlets, they have the ways where you can schedule posts ahead of time. Thanks. And my other question, um, I know you're a new member, mm -hmm. so you may not um, be so familiarized with what we do here at Chef UH, but you know, to your understanding, mm -hmm. um, marketing is a very important tool that we use here at Chef UH. We're recognized in different chapters across the nation because of our brand. So how do you think you would push our Chevy Witch brand to be even better and than what it is right now and just to keep up with that image that we have? So um, from my, I guess my perception of what Chef is right now, I, I do see that you guys are very organized. I see that you guys are very on top of, um, I guess, member uh, participation. So you're very good at pulling people back in, naming people, making sure that they're uh, informed. So above all, I would uphold that standard and I would continue to, I guess, provide good uh, member outreach. I, I do want to, um, I guess, improve how you guys connect to the, the lower classmen or the, um, the freshmen and sophomore students like uh, me. Uh, I remember that when I was a freshman, a lot of organizations came out to my classrooms to kind of present, um, I guess, like, we have a general meeting coming up or an event coming up, so I do want to kind of introduce that again if you guys aren't already doing that. How are you doing? I have two questions for you. Um, so you were saying that you're the, the marketing chair for yes. for UH Naval. Yes, sir. Um, so if for you know if you do get this position, um, how would you go about you know when it comes to creating something for Naval and creating something for Chef? Would you use the same style? Would it some, because for me, mm -hmm. for me, for I guess the whole organization, we're very um, you know we're very prideful of, of our organization. Yeah. And you know we want to be unique. We want to stand out. So how can you make both organizations stand out with two different styles of like marketing? So for Enable, I see that Enable is more of a, um, I guess a creative, three D printing kind of oriented organization. So that's more towards volunteering, more towards, I uh, more towards uh, helping the community and uh, giving back like physical like goods through you know the prosthetics. But uh, Chef has more of a professional development kind of air, a more of a family style. So um, those are two kind of different graphics that come to mind. One is more, I guess, uh, one is more technical in terms of um, like what you actually make. And then one is more, this is a family that you want to be a part of. This is someone that you should, this is like people you should hang out with. This is who you want to be to kind of further your own development. And then my second question is, uh, you did say that you, you wanted to eventually raise the standard of the website and the newsletter. Is there anything, maybe it's one, one thing from each, like either the website or the newsletter, something that I guess from what you've seen in, like in our current new, newsletter that you've seen in the last two weeks or our website now, or website or, or our social media, is there something that you, you've seen that you'd be like, hey, like I know I could, I could improve this so um, I do have an interest in uh, HTML and CC CSS. So I would, uh, I guess, use more uh, of a better, I guess, organizational structure for uh, mobile applications on the website. Because, um, well, I do like the format now. I feel like it could be more streamlined on a mobile application. So that's one way that I would do that. Yes. Hi. So we need a lot of e-work. Um, so how do you plan to, let's say, enable me to you, or there's stuff to do at night, and then we have a people meeting? Um, how do you plan to prioritize chef, knowing the fact, with the fact that you have to be at these places, um, but you also have this other position that is expecting things from you? Uh, definitely, I guess that is like something that comes to, uh, depending on the situation, I guess. 
So uh, currently it's around time for career fair. So in particular, I, I believe that SHEP would be a more of a priority because it's more focused on professional development. So during this kind of time, uh, SHEP is more gonna, SHEP is gonna give more of a, um, I guess, a bolster to help people for the you know, resume, for their um, meeting with company representatives. Uh, Naval also does that, but I believe that SHEP has more of a leverage on that. So then, just depending on the time of the year and what kind of events are going on, I would take multiple things into consideration. Mm -hmm. Did that answer your question? I believe that uh, there's multiple ways to lead a team. Uh, my kind of perspective is to first observe and then make a decision. So I would like to see who's in the team, see how they work, see um, what's the best way to kind of motivate them to do their very best. And uh, I'm also a big, I guess, supporter of like, smaller groups that have each uh, individual goal that kind of meet together at the end. So I. I like to divide and conquer in a way. So that, that'll be one of my, um, I guess my leading style. Uh, I have, uh, it'll be the final question. It's kind of like a two part, but mm -hmm. you're here for a reason. Something that you witnessed at Study Rescue then made you come and uh, like basically throw yourself in within two days to give yes. a speech to all of us. Uh, what is it that you saw in Chef that made you do this? Well, I mean, uh, to be honest, I was really reluctant to come because uh, uh, one, just having the marketing position as a Naples marketing chair, and I was, I guess, after like talking to Nick beforehand um, and hearing his, uh, I guess his talk about emotional intelligence, I just realized that I don't really know what I want for myself. So getting a leadership position like this would allow me to kind of discover myself more while also meeting new people, learn new skills, and you know, just helping others while I help myself as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and like the follow-up one to that is that a lot of the executive board, uh, we don't have to be here, but we're mm -hmm. here because we want to. And we have been part of Chef, and then we have pushed ourselves to become leaders for this organization. And do you see yourself growing and like sticking through Chef, or just using this as a like a learning? I definitely do see myself sticking to Shelf. Um, one reason is that, I guess, once you're in an organization and you do make connections, you don't want to lose those connections. So I, I felt that it was a loving atmosphere on Tuesday, since that was the one event I went to. But I, I want to continue to like learn more and meet more people. So if that was just one event, then I guess, where are the wonders for the others? Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Henry.